partner. Frank, what's happened to you? What do you mean, what's happened to me? I mean, you used to stop a suspect because of what he was doing, not because of the color of his skin. Oh, hey, 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 don't lecture me on being a cop. I am cop. not trying to lecture you. I'm trying to talk some sense to you. It's not a police state. It's America. Yeah? What's he doing here? back in Oakland again. Hey, what do you say I take you on a little tour? Yeah, we got plenty of time for sightseeing. Let's get there first. Well, let me at least show you my old beat, huh? Hey, your old beat isn't gonna disappear in 10 minutes. Not after 15 years. <sighs> 15 years. Boy, it's great being back. Seeing Captain Friend and Frank and Joe and all the guys. Who ever said you can't go home again? Thomas Wolf. <laughs> Who's Thomas Wolf? Your assignment? No, no, he's the guy who said you can't go home again. <laughs> Wasn't very bright, was he? G-O-N-D-A-L-E-S. Don't you people have enough Gonzaleses? Okay, at the corner. You know what I think you want to do, mister? I think you got to reach for the ceiling, one hand at a time. Mark Gordon, <laughs> hey, you little Frank, son of a gun! Oh, God, it's great to see you. You could have called. Well, I didn't know I was going to be in town till yesterday. How's Martha? Oh, she's great. She'll be dying to see you. <laughs> and you wouldn't believe Kevin. Oh. He's on the football team now. Can't wait to see him. I want you to meet a friend of mine, Jonathan Smith, Frank Lawler. Hi. Frank, pleasure to meet you. I'm quite a fan of this guy right here. Right here is the best partner any cop ever had. <laughs> we had some fine times, that's a fact. Not like nowadays. Half the force is out with the blue flu. Got scum like this walking the streets. Richard, put this wet back in the cage, will you? Please! Please, give me a break! I didn't do nothing! Please! Tell that to the judge, Paco. Come on. Come going over to Sherlock's, get ourselves a couple of cold ones, huh? Hey, what's with the blue flu? Oh, it's the same old story. Everybody wants police protection, but nobody wants to pay for it. I'll tell you, if I didn't have only eight months to go to my pension, I might be coming down with something myself. One good thing happened out of all of this. I'm going out on patrol again tomorrow. First time in five years. I wish I could be with you. That's not a half bad idea, Gordon. Captain Friend. <laughs> How good are to you? see you, Mark. You weren't serious right now. Well, you're still in the police reserves, aren't you? Yes, sir. Then we can call you up in an emergency. When half my men are out pretending to be sick, and the bad guys are about to take over my precinct, that's an emergency. You mean Frank and I will be together again? For a couple of days until we get this thing settled. Hey, you and me <laughs> right. together again, huh? 
And Frank, I don't want to hear about any judge and jury stuff out there. Hannes. I'm not kidding with you. I heard you, okay? All right, I'll see you both in uniform. 0700 tomorrow morning. Well, partner, let's go have that beer. All right. Jonathan, you're going to love Sherlock's. It's the safest place in Oakland. There's always a cop on the premises. <laughs> hey, well, look, why don't you two go ahead? I've got an appointment. Well, we have an assignment? I thought we'd go to Frank's for dinner after. That's all right. You go ahead, and I'll meet you at the motel later. Mrs. Neal, I'm Jonathan Smith. I'm from Watch Tech. Uh, this is my resume. Uh, you were looking for a security guard, weren't you? Yes, we do need a security guard. The old one quit a week ago. But what with this blue flu and all. But, um... Well, we've never had a white security guard at Piedmont. It's a dangerous enough job for a black guard. Maybe it's time you started to integrate. <laughs> ah, you remind me a lot of my late husband, Mr. Smith. He was always seeing the bright side. But does that mean I have a job? Well, I have to get dinner ready now for my two boys, but uh, come back in an hour and we'll fill out the paperwork. I will have had time to talk to the Tenants Association by then. Oh, fine, thank you. I'll see you in about an hour. Hey, hey, hey! Slow down! <laughs> Mr. Smith, this is my youngest son, Julius. How you doing, Julius? Well, what's the matter with you? Cat got your tongue. You the police? Oh, sort of. Gonna be a new security guard, I hope. You have to understand, Mr. Smith. The only white folks come down here seem to be with the police. You got a gun? Why, am I gonna need one? Around here you do. I wanna tell you, if it wasn't for your father, I wouldn't be here today. Hey, 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 come on. You saved my behind enough times. I had to thank you for giving me the chance to teach those jungle bunnies a lesson. <laughs> I speared one today in practice, Dad. Got him real good. <laughs> Kevin, football is a game, not an organized race riot. Was he a half black or a full black? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now for the really big news. Here's to the best team that ever rolled out of the 16th Street Station. Let's hope we still got it, buddy. What do you mean, still got it? A captain friend called me up from the reserve because of this blue flu thing. You promised me that you wouldn't go back on patrol duty. I don't have a choice, hon. With this blue flu thing, we're operating at half strength. <laughs> All right. May the force be with you. Okay. Okay. She all right? Oh, she's fine. I want to be happy, but I can't be happy till I make you happy too. I want to be happy, but I can't be happy <laughs> till I make you Happy Life's really worth giving when you are mirth giving. Why can't I give some to you? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. How you doing? Bless me. If it ain't the ghost of Mark Gardner. Hey, aren't you the man who gave me a chip on a horse one time called Inside Move? Huh? <laughs> no one else I ever finished for without a jacket, baby. Medals. <laughs> Hey, what happened to your hair here? I thought you were a barber. Looks like you ate it. Hey, stop that. <laughs> you remember Jerome? Hey, Jerome, sure I do. How's it going? Good, fine. All right. I thought you retired about 15 years ago. Yeah, so did I. I stopped by to see Frank. Next thing I know, they drafted me because of this blue flu outbreak. I heard they were scraping the bottom of the barrel. Let's get out of here, Mark. Frank, what are you doing? I mean, these are all friends here. That's your problem. Come on. You're supposed to be working, remember? Hey, look, I'll come by and see you later, all right? 
Yeah. Good to see you. Right. Bye-bye. Any fish living near this pier? Yeah, what makes you say that? Me and Albert, we fish here a lot. Oh, I thought Albert didn't like fishing. He likes fishing. He just doesn't like fishing for white folk. But you don't feel that way? Sometimes I do. Why? Because your brother feels that way? I suppose. You're gonna meet an awful lot of people in your life. Some of them you're gonna like and some of them you're not. It shouldn't have anything to do with what color they are. I was thinking, maybe we catch a fish. Maybe you could come to dinner at our house. I like that very much. See if we catch one, huh? having trouble getting into your car? This ain't our car. We were just checking it out. Checking it out? Checking out to steal is what you were doing, right, boy? We didn't touch this car. Watch your mouth. Hey, Frank, come on. Take it easy. You've been off the streets too long, partner. All right, you two. Beat it. I said, beat it! Not you. Hey. Look what we got here. You know, if I'm not mistaken, this is the kind of a tool a person could use to break into a car. That's my tool, man. No, man. That's your ticket to jail. I didn't do nothing! Tell that to the judge, punk! I didn't do nothing! I sure like having my son bring home dinner like this. Mm. Fish is good for you, right, Mama? Oh, you <laughs> bet it is. Neil? Yes? Your son was arrested today on suspicion of car theft. I didn't do nothing. Gunner, what are you doing here? I was just having dinner. I worked for Mrs. Neal. This is the juvenile court. We'll contact you first thing in the morning. All right. Go and wash up. Your brother caught us a fish for dinner. I ain't eating with him. You're eating with whoever your brother and I invite to this house. You can't make me. Can't make me do nothing. Is there anything else, officer? No, ma'am. Maybe you should go with your friend. Thanks for the fish, Julius. What are you doing down here, Smith? Well, I work down here, Frank. I'm the new security guard for the housing project. Jeez, oh, I didn't know you worked down here. I could have gotten you a job on the docks. Instead of keeping the peace of little my Ruby here. I'm doing fine. Suit yourself. Let's go, partner. You want us to drop you off at the motel? I'd rather walk. Hey, Mark, let's go.
back early. I thought you were going to stop off at Sherlock's. I didn't feel like it tonight. <sighs> that is one of my best friends, Jonathan. And he says things. He doesn't mean it. It's not him. He's not like that. Maybe the job's getting to him. <sighs> Look, I'm not trying to make excuses for him. Yes, you are. All right, so what if I am? Frank's my friend. He's a good cop. Let me take a shower. You know, John, this morning I couldn't wait to get this uniform on. I can't wait to get out of it. Albert? Why don't you help your brother with the cleaning? Uh-uh. Sugar man don't do no housework. Yes. Oh, yes, officer. He won't? Thank you, officer. Thank you very much. <laughs> Goodbye. That was the juvenile court clerk, Albert. They're not going to press charges. Yes, the sugar man. Too bad for the chump police. They said they had insufficient evidence. Yeah, they got insufficient brains is what they got. And that includes Julius's friend, Smith. Mr. Smith has never done anything to hurt you. He's white. And that's good enough for me. The way you and Julius kiss up to him make me think you both gonna end up like Papa. What do you mean, end up like Papa? I mean. Papa was the white man's fool. Everybody knows that. Your father was no man's fool. He was a good Marine. If you were such a good Marine, why'd he die? Honey, he died for his country. He died for some fake white politician, Mama, and you know it. Don't you ever say that. Don't you ever say nothing to hurt your father's memory. This is the last time you hit me, Mama. You hear? This is Gall, apartment 4B. She says there's a snake in her toilet. Well, that'll be about the 10th one this year. Problem is, nobody else can see them but her. Come on, Julie, let's go get us a new rap sound. Can we get the new LL Cool J? We'll get whatever you like. You be back by dinner. Yes, Mama. seem to reach him. He just gets further and further away. It's not easy for you being both mother and father. Sometimes I feel like Albert does. I feel that no matter what I do, nothing will change. And that's when I feel that maybe my husband did die for the wrong country. Ron would like to hear you talk like that. Ron, how did you know my husband's name? It's hard to spend any time around Julius and not hear about his father. Julius was only 
six when Ron was sent off to the Middle East. He's a lot like his father. Sometimes, I feel that Albert will change him. Albert has so much hate. That'll be Mrs. Galton, her invisible snake. I'll see to her. Well, well. Looks like we just found ourselves a drug dealer, maybe a pimp. Oh, Frank, it's just a guy coming out of a house. Hey, good buddy, open your eyes. A spade in this neighborhood with a car like that, dressed like that? He's no Supreme Court justice. I'll run a check on his license. Suit yourself. I'm gonna go have a little talk with him. Nice car you got there. I like it. I suppose you got proof of ownership. It's in the glove compartment. You're not looking in any glove compartment, mister, not without me looking in there first. Hey, man, what are you doing? This is outrageous. You just come out of a rock house, didn't you, brother? I just come from my mother's house. Frank. This car is registered to a Jonas Barnes, Arinda. If you look in my pocket, you'll see that that's my name. Take out your wallet, sir. And your license. Jonas Barnes, Orinda, California. Picture IDs in Frank. Yes, sir, we're sorry. Look, my friend here is a little antsy because of the blue flu situation. You and your partner haven't heard the last of this. Oh, yeah? Be sure and get my badge number right. But you can read, can't you, Sambo? Well, I can't win them all, huh, partner? Frank, what's happened to you? What do you mean, what's happened to me? I mean, you used to stop a suspect because of what he was doing, not because of the color of his skin. Oh, hey, 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 don't lecture me on being a I cop. I am not trying to lecture you. I'm trying to talk some sense to you. It's not a police state. This is America. Yeah? What's he doing here? Fellas. You like rap music, Mr. Smith? Well, to be honest with you, Julius, I don't think I know very much about it. Goes like this. That's Mr. Smith guards our house, keeps the bad guys out. Man, he ain't into it. White folks don't care about rap. Now, Albert, there's an auto repair shop near here. I was talking to the owner. The mechanic just quit. He's looking for a young trainee. I thought you might be interested. I told you I don't work for no white man. Yeah, well, I didn't say whether he was white or black. The fact of the matter is, he's black. Where'd you say this place is? I might check it out. Got the address right here, 16th and Main, near the train station. I can find it. Yeah, well, later. No, that was not really so bad. You know what he said about you not digging rap music? I could tell. He was just blowing smoke. <laughs> you could tell, could you? You got soul, I could tell. Yeah, and I can tell it's time for you to get home and start on your schoolwork. Yeah. <laughs>
pretty good sewing yourself. Excuse me. <laughs> Well, at least we'll get to see the final three innings. You know, it's a lucky thing that Jonas Barnes turned out to be legit. <laughs> oh, thanks to you, partner. Ah, oh, come on. Give me a break, will you? Three out of four times a shine like that turns out to be a pimper of <laughs> It's all right. It's all right, Lon. Let me get this, all right? I'll clean it up. No, Martha, you've done enough for me in this last couple of weeks, all right? Just let me clean it up. Right? Just let me do it. Canseco will lead off against Mark Williamson in this seventh inning. The right-handers, Williamson and Plunk, settling things down where the left-handers couldn't do it. of that talk. I'd hoped that he'd finish out his 25 years on the desk. What's happened to him? I wish I knew. I don't know. The years on the street, something snapped. He hates anyone who isn't white. In the car, at the mall. Even watching television, he's, he's always saying something, and now Kevin is imitating him, except I know that that kind of prejudice sticks. It's passed on from one generation to the next. You know, I've talked to him about it, but he doesn't admit there's a problem. If you could somehow get him back on the desk. Doesn't this work slow down? She'd only last for a few more days. Mark. Every time he walks out that door, I'm scared of what will happen. I'll go clean up the mess. Take it easy. Take it easy. Somebody's trying to kill her. No, they're not. That's Mrs. Gall. She thinks there's a snake in the toilet. <laughs> a snake in the toilet. That's right. All right, I'll go calm her down. You know, if you use it right, this uniform can work wonders. All right, lady, 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 just c calm yourself. Calm yourself. See, I'm, I'm Officer Gordon. Oh, yeah, thank well, God you uh -huh. <laughs> They don't believe me. There's a big snake in my toilet. I haven't been going to the bathroom in five days. You gotta believe me. Yeah, all right, but well, I'll take care of it. All right, come you just on, lead the way on, here. Please. All right. Yeah. And I've been telling the landlady, and every time she come here, that old big snake's in here down the toilet, and they say I'm crazy. But officer, I've seen him. Well, of course you have. In there. I don't slam the seat down on his head. Oh, that was good. That was very good. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to lift that lid. Then you can tell me if you see a snake. Mm-hmm. You think I'm crazy. No, I didn't say that. I'm a police officer. All I want is the facts, ma'am. Don't be talking like they'll drag that show. Just lift the seat. OK. Now, do you see a snake? I do not see a snake. <laughs> but I've seen him, officer. He's in there. Well, of course you did. No, <laughs> yeah. You seen it? You seen it? Hallelujah! I'm not crazy. 
Where have you been, Albert? I know you weren't at church this morning. I had some appointments. Oh, speaking of appointments, a uh, Mr. Holmes called here a while back. Said you were supposed to see him about a mechanic's job. I ain't working for no slave wages. Everybody's got to start somewhere. Once you get experience, there's good money to be made fixing cars. There's more money to be made stealing them. What's happened to you? What did I do wrong to make you hate so? You don't get it, Mama, do you? You still don't get it. Don't get what? It's a war, Mama. It's us against them. And they ain't gonna get me. Albert! I told you, Mama, you keep your hands off me! Julius, what's wrong? But Mama's hurt! All right, let's go. Good afternoon. I help? No. Hey, there's a grocery store, not a jewelry mart. Look quick. Pablo Avenue, repeat, a 211 in progress at 1876 San Pablo. Unit 43 responding. That's Wong's Market. Let's go. Okay, boys. Party's over. Police on the way. Maybe next time you'll try somebody else's neighborhood. Hey, sure, man, we gotta make tracks, man. Homeboy just called the police. He didn't call nobody! Hey, man, I'm getting out of here. If you leave now, man, you get nothing! Hey, man, if I stay, I got less than nothing. That's right, run home your mama! I'll take the back, you go around the front. Shot. You hold real still. Why, if it isn't the Cadillac man. I had a feeling we'd meet again. Wong is in the back on the floor. He's hurt pretty bad. I'll take the boy to the car and call an ambulance. You stay with Wong. All right, over the hood. What are you doing? Taking off your cuffs. What, man? I'm being a nice guy and giving you a break. Take off. No. I said take off. So you can shoot me? No way! Suit yourself. saw it. He went for my gun. You cuffed him, Frank. Where are the cuffs? 
You saw what he did to Wong. That black scum could have killed him. It was self-defense. You saw it. You saw it. And that's the way I'm going to report it. I only have eight months to go to my pension. I'm not going to lose my pension over that black piece of trash. Remember, Mark, I'm the one who saved your life. Yeah, Frank, I remember. I call the ambulance. According to the preliminary medical examiner's report, the suspect, the victim was pretty badly beaten up. I tried to cuff him. He attacked me. I hit him with my stick. He got it away from me. I had to shoot him. Do you have anything else to say? It's all in the report, sir. How about you, Gordon? Yes, sir. Do you have anything to add? When I arrested the suspect, I cuffed him. Next thing I saw, the next time I saw him, Frank had shot him. Cuffs were off. What are you talking about? I am talking about the truth, Frank. You can't do this to me. That kid was scum. He didn't deserve to live. Stop it. I saved your life. Frank, stop it. He was worthless. He didn't deserve to live. Kevin, your, your father was the best partner I ever had. Believe me. Is that why you turned him in? Kevin, I just told the truth. I didn't make up what happened. You ruined my dad. You ruined his life for some nigger!
I won't let hate destroy your life the way it destroyed your father's. No one in this world loves Frank Lawler more than I do. But if his life is ruined, if his career is ruined, it's ruined because he's a racist. It wasn't Mark who killed that boy. It wasn't Captain Friend, it was your father. It was his hatred. And now that hatred has got to stop. Julius? He's here. Change my mind. I don't want to speak to him. Julius, listen to me. You've lost a brother, and that boy's lost a father. Two people who hated each other without even knowing each other. Does that make sense to you, son? No. Then talk to him. Give him a chance to know you. Give yourself a chance to know him. It's the only way the hatred's gonna stop. Kevin. I'm Julius. 